We all know what life is like right now, and the restrictions and fears that come with it. And who knows better than Amy McCurry, our own school nurse, to better explain how to help others. So the mask wearing is still number one, which I'm seeing everyone doing a great job of wearing their masks and still trying to maintain distance where you can. It's not always possible. Being aware of others is incredibly important. You have no idea whether or not someone is or lives with someone that is vulnerable to COVID. Be cautious and aware of others. Remember that anyone at any time, and sometimes it's something as little as just a cough or something as a small stuffy nose, we've seen kind of a whole array of symptoms. So it never hurts to reach out to us or reach out to your own doctor to kind of see what they advise you to do from there. There are times when you might feel like you're sick, or you've been told that you've been exposed, and we can help you with that. And then we do have the rapid tests that are available on site. So some students are choosing to come in in the morning and get a rapid test to make sure everything looks good before they go to class. Please do remain cautious no matter where you're going. Whether you believe it or not, we're still in a pandemic and it is absolutely vital you do everything you can to keep others safe as well as yourself. What would you do for a Klondike bar? What would you do, ma'am? The first question is what does the pride acronym stand for? Uh, I mean, P Perseverance. Oh yeah. Phosphorus, uh, party. Perseverance. Oh, I, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Rationality. Respect. Respect. Integrity. Integrity. Intelligence. Diversity. No, determination. Oh. Don't bully other people. Dependability. Determination. Den dedication or something? Dedication. Hey, don't look around. Don't look around. Uh, e, e, excellent. Is excellent. excellent. Encouragement. Encouragement. Uh, energy. Encouragement. Excellence. Integrity. Oh. Yeah. All right. Integrity starts with an I, not an E. Yeah. <laughs> the pride acronym is our school's motto. It is it represents our school? All right. All right. Stand for. So oh. that's what's okay. Perseverance. Integrity. Dependability. That is correct. First one of the day. And the second question is how many students attend Mount Sai? Like, uh, like 2100? Yeah. 2100? 2100, final answer? Yeah. Oh, 600. No, what? <laughs> no. I'd probably say roughly 3,000. Probably like 2,000. 2,434. 2,000? 1,671. 1,671. 1,671. If I'm being honest, probably 2K. Couple thousand. Couple thousand, any specific number? Not a specific number. 1,700. No, that's all right. What is our mascot, and what is his name or her name? I don't know the name. I don't focus on that. I don't know. I don't, I don't got no guess. Par. So wow. It's per. Cat. No! Right. Our mascot is Wally the Wildcat. Wally the Wildcat. Actually, I, I deny that. I think it's a guy named Keith. Keith is the Wildcat. Oh, the Wildcat and... <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we're gonna go with Wally. Yeah, the cat. The cat? Do you have a name? Throw out a name. What? Mom. Mom? Mom? Yeah. Wally the Wildcat. Yep. 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 All right. All right. Your participation. <laughs> Let's go. Just for participating, we'll give you a bookmark. Yeah. You guys didn't get any right, but you guys can get some bookmarks. Yeah. You guys can have some bookmarks. I said the right answer. He did say the right answer. I said the right answer. What are you talking about? All right, Parker, you can have a, you can have a respect. You got one right, you can have a wristband. Oh. Hey. Uh, oh my God. You get a wristband. You, know, you get a wristband. <laughs> yep. Good stuff. You got two right, you get a water bottle. Thank you. Yeah.
Hello Wildcats, I'm Owen Tice and we're back with another interview. Today we're going to be interviewing Parker Jones about our ASB website. Our first question is where can we find our ASB website? Uh, the easiest way to find the ASB website is probably in ClassLink, that's new this year. Also, if you're just trying to see on your phone or something, it's in the link tree in our Instagram bio. Alright, so our next question is what kind of content is shown on our ASB website? Yeah, so we try to add almost everything on the ASB website this year, so you guys can just go there and find out everything that's going on in the school this year. So on our homepage, this is going to be just giant announcements, like huge events you want to know, like homecoming, maybe a drama production, things like that. So you guys should be checking those announcements every week. Um, we also have a club section. The club section has all of our clubs and they should be mostly up to date and you guys can just see kind of what clubs we have and, and if you're interested, there's meeting times and links to their other socials. We also have brand new this year a content request. So if you guys are a club, an individual, you represent a group or something and you want ASB to promote something for you, specifically people we've been interviewing through our Instagram or other things, even Wildcat TV, you guys can go on to that section and you can request to have your content be promoted by ASB. For our sports section, we have a list of like all the different sports teams and all their schedules for the season. So if you guys want to know if there's any games going on this week that you want to go to, you can just check that out and just sort by the sport team. Uh, and then other than that, we just have like an about me page and links to our socials. And we also post a new Wildcat TV episode every Thursday. So if you guys miss advisory, you don't get to see this, you can watch it on our website. All right. And our last question is why should students be checking the website? Uh, yeah, so we worked hard to redesign the website this year and just have it like make more sense for you guys. So if you guys want to know it's anything that's going on uh, in the school and any just sort of event for a sports team, a club, just any sort of event ASB puts on, just be checking the website just so you guys have the opportunity to go to those and we want to make sure you guys are just having a fun year overall. Thank you Parker for coming and talking about the ASB website. Make sure you guys are checking every week and staying up to date. And I better see the website bookmarked on your computers. Last spring, sophomore Andy White was inspired to start the Asian American Pacific Island Student Body Club because of the tragic shootings in Atlanta that claimed the lives of six Asian women. Um, somebody has to do something about this. So like the next day I thought, what if that person is me? So what if I do something about the spa shootings and you know, take action for it? So I started the club. Here are a few of the events this active club is planning this fall. In Diversity Fair, they are going to host um, sometime in the fall and the DEI student teacher forums, uh, collaboration meetings with the clubs like Diversity Club and Black Student Union, and we are, will be hosting fundraisers. And Brian will be coming up really soon, so stay tuned for that. So anyone can join, join the AAPI club. It doesn't matter if you're Asian or Pacific Islander or, or white or black or mixed race. You can be anyone and it doesn't matter who you are, so you can join. For more information about the club, follow them on Instagram at MSHSAAPISB.